Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. You're watching our Tolly Review. My name is Ritha Ranjan. This week's movie is Bhishma, directed by Venki Kudumula, starring Nitin, Rashmika, Jishu Sen Gupta, Anant Nag, and others. Nitin plays a young man named Bhishma who is ready to mingle but extremely single because of an unfortunate name and also because he has not been able to clear some backlogs in engineering. Now, you know, with that premise itself, they have captured at least half the youngsters in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. He falls in love with Chaitra, who is played by Rashmika, and that sets the ball rolling. Meanwhile, in another track of the story, there is Anant Nag, who is the CEO of a company called Bhishma Organic Farming, and he is looking for the successor for his company. And by then, you know where the story is going. Now, right from the outset, the director, who is also the writer of the film, goes with the technique of cramming as many jokes as possible into the script which is always a foolproof technique because even if some of the jokes don't land you have a flurry of jokes coming up later the film is also an interesting throwback to early trivikram films where there are elaborate gags that are played out but what they do differently is they avoid the philosophizing now in recent years the problem with trivikram films are these long insufferable dialogues by the heroes where they are spouting out philosophy here every time something like that is going to happen the film becomes self-aware and they start making fun of it. So those kind of things make the film really light. Also, it is not like everything else is superficial because the screenplay is really tight and one scene leads to the other. And the other thing that I personally liked about the film is that the writer makes sure that all the loose ends of the film are tied together by the end. The performances of the ensemble cast greatly help the cause of the film. Nitin is in fine form as is Sampatraj who plays Rashmika's father. Vanilla Kishore is also one of the strongest parts of the film but I feel like I'm repeating myself every week to know about his performance. You can go and check out any of our reviews. He's become the Rahul Dravid, the Mr. Dependable of our films. But what I liked about his role in this particular film is that it's a wonderful throwback to the times when the comedian would have a complete arc like a beginning, a middle and an end. And also he was present in every scene almost but the laughs did not come at his expense. Like the laughs did not come from slaps and punches. They came from tags and punchlines. Another surprise for me in this film was Raghu Babu, whose performance worked for me because he tones things down, he keeps them a little subtle. He goes from Amit Shah to subtle Bihari Vajpayee. However, if it is novelty you are looking for, there is not much over here because the song seemed to drag this film's pace down a little bit. Also, the film suffers from predictability because you know how some scenes are going to pan out. However, the film overcomes these flaws because it is focused on taking the story forward and not on settling on those moments. It also helps majorly that the film doesn't take itself too seriously. Like by the end of the film, Nitin still remains a college dropout. He doesn't start spouting lines like Sadhguru. The film's self-aware nature and not taking itself seriously is also helped with this eclectic idiom-based background score by Swara Sagar. The large ensemble cast's performances works to a large extent. For Nitin, for example, it is not really his performance but his characterization that works. The writers make him a very unlikely hero, an unheroic hero and that works with the general tone of the film. Rashmika Mandana's character is also surprisingly well fleshed out. Now, Buddha has said that desires are the cause of all suffering and what seems to be working in the case of Bhishma is that you go in with no expectations at all. There is not much in case of novelty. However, there are a lot of laughs and it is a film that is self-aware and does not take itself too seriously. In fact, one gets a feeling that Trivikram Srinivas would enjoy this film more than some of his own recent films. Thank you for watching our review. For more such interesting videos, please subscribe to Film Company South by pressing the bell icon. Now I understand that there are no gags here in this review but life is all about being unpredictable and I know some of you might be sad because there are no gags but then you know climate change is real, the world is ending and Greta Iceberg is pissed off and there is coronavirus so does it really matter?